hi friends today in this video we are going to create a grocery website with subscription system which means the uh, seller can sell like milk newspaper etc through this website in a subscription web means a customer can purchase for monthly basis like this as you can see this is the website which we are created and lot of options are available on this website like otp verification and all these functions are available on this website and you can see this is a beautifully designed website a very well organized website and this have a mobile responsive view okay we can sell newspaper on the monthly basis so the customer can purchase from this website for the newspaper or milk or whatever you want you can just set it for a month or for a year so after that it will be auto debited the amount from the customer as you can see this is the website this is the product which is milk and here the customer can choose a particular quantity from this list and they can just subscribe for a month so you can deliver daily so the customer ne don't need to buy daily from our website they just need to subscribe and it will be auto deducted from their account also so when the customer click on the checkout button they can enter the billing details if they have a account on our website they can just log in on our website with their mobile number or password and also a coupon code section is available and a billing details are available once they enter the mobile number they can just verify the mobile number before login so the otp will be sent to the customer's mobile number once they enter the OTP on the customer's mobile number, once they enter the OTP on their on our website, it will be auto verified. Then only the customer can create the account on our website. This gives an extra security for our website. And as there is a delivery time choosing option is available, so the customer can choose the delivery time. And they can just click on place the order. Once they place this the order, it will take to the account section and they can just check out. Here you can see they can just uh, go with UPI or card payment. They can just payment go on the payment section and they can just complete the checkout. Once they completed the checkout, they can see all the details like this. What they have time we will also get an email from the banking details like this from our rise up account they, we will get an email notification when the amount received to our account and you can see also on our email address so the order details and everything everything so you can go to the wordpress dashboard and you can just process that particular order like this the customer can see the details building details on the email once we receive an email you can just go to your wordpress or woocommerce dashboard and you can enter into the order section and you can choose the particular customer and you can just complete the checkout and details everything here you can choose the checkout details You can complete the you can complete the changes the status of that particular order and you can just update it. So in order to create first a website you need a domain and hosting. So just click on the hosting.in, go to the hosting.in and you can search for a domain name. And you can see this domain name is available and you can also choose a hosting plan from this list and you can just buy this domain and hosting and you can choose a time length for a hosting plan so when you are going to buy a hosting plan you can just buy a good plan so it will be easy to manage all these hostings so this is your control panel so here we are going to install wordpress 
So click on auto installer from this control panel. Click on install. Okay, once the WordPress is installed, this is your default WordPress website. So now we are going to customize everything. Go to the appearance section. Click on themes. Click on add new. Click on upload theme. And you can just choose the theme file from this list. The description, I will give the theme link on the description box also. You can just buy or get it from there. And install that particular theme. It's a very good theme. After that, just click on activate. And you can just click on begin installing plugins. All these plugins comes along with the theme. You don't need to do anything to install the particular plugins. Just select and install from the above list. Wait for some time to get installed all these plug installed all these plugins. It will be depend upon your hosting plan and app hosting speed etc. So once you finish that just click on activate. You can choose the activate option and click on apply. Okay guys now we have installed the theme and plugins for our website. Okay, now we can import demo for our website. Go to the sorry before that you can just install uh, the plugin section. You can just disable this WP Bakery page builder. Just deactivate that. Now go to the appearance section and just click on theme setup. And now here you can just import demo and child theme etc. Now just click on install. And you can also import demos. You can choose any of these demos from this list. There are a lot of lists. You can choose anything, any option. Okay, by default, I will choose a demo and just click on import. You can choose any of the demo, whatever you want. And wait for some time to get import all this content. This also depend upon your hosting plan. So when you are buying a hosting plan, choose a good hosting plan. Then only everything works without any issues. Okay guys, now we have all done. Now just we can view our website. Okay, this is the website, which is a demo website. You can customize everything on this website. You can change all the images, products and all these things you can do without any programming or technical knowledge it's super easy we already created some videos about this particular technical knowledge it's super easy we already created some videos about this particular topic and with this particular theme okay now we can go to the woocommerce settings and you can change all these settings and it's super easy and you can just change the address lines you can change the country you can change all the details from this list you can change you can change the currency currency shipping settings all the settings of our WooCommerce or our e-commerce site is managed on this WooCommerce settings like product shipping options reviews options all these options are you can just enable or disable according to your requirements there is nothing to worry about that it's super easy you can just click on that stick mark and you can just enable or disable that click on click on save changes on the shipping settings you can change the shipping methods shipping zones you can add the shipping zones you can add in its own name, zone regions. All these are super easy. You can just add according to your requirements and your area. You can just add it on the WooCommerce settings. And you can add the shipping methods. You can add free shipping or if you want to charge the shipping charge, then you can just add that. If you want a deep shipping options then you can choose any free plugins from this plugin directory and you can just add that and then you can add some shipping classes we also have created a video regarding this shipping class 
and everything okay this is the important section of our website payment section you can delivery is available by default you can just enable that and later we can enable reza pay on this account section also you can just change the options according to your requirements you can just tick mark and these all options you can just change the options according to your requirements and click on save changes once you change anything you will just click on the save changes then only the changes will be take place on your website right now this is the email settings now here you can just change the email settings like email text and everything you can integrate maxmate and this is the advanced section here also you can just change the pages and everything by default everything is okay you don't need to change anything okay guys now when we want to edit the front page you can just click on edit with elementor enter and you can just edit all the images demo images and header photo section everything from that edit with elementor section okay guys now just go to the plugin section and click on add new you can upload the WooCommerce subscription plugin which comes along with this theme you can just get it from the description box below you can just check the description box you can just install on the plugin section that and now just click on activate plugin after that go to the plugin section again and click on add new and you can just type price up pay and install this plugins reset pay for WooCommerce and reset pay subscription subscription for WooCommerce both these plugins are free and you can just install and activate go to the inactive section and you can just just click on activate once the activated and go to the product section and click on add new here you can add a product for your website you can just add the subscription product i am just adding fresh milk and you can just add a description and on the product data section you can choose the simple subscription or variable subscription or both these options are optional and you can just change according to your requirement and choose for uh, the don't choose for never expire choose for some period means 12 months 6 months etc you can just expire after that and you can add a sign up fee for that particular product you can add free trial option sale price etc all these options are according to your plans and your business plan etc once you finish that everything you can just add the image and everything you can publish that particular product and the final view of this product is look like this you can also create the variable option for this particular product that i will show in later okay guys now go to the subscription settings and you can change the tabs etc for this options you can change this tab details and the button text etc here on the subscription section of the woocommerce settings you can enable these options all these options are optional you can change according to your requirements once you make the changes click on save changes and go to the payment section again and you can see the reserve pay option is available here click on manage and it is available here click on manage and you need to copy a key id and key secret from the reserve pay dashboard Go to the reservepay.com and create an account if you don't have an account on reservepay otherwise just log into your razor pay account you can just choose the live mode and test mode we are just creating a website so we are just creating a test mode from here you can choose the subscription option you can just click on the subscription option and click on the plan section here on the plan section just create a new plan as you can see this is an icon for new plan you can just click on the new plan section 
and you can just add the plan name and plan description billing frequency all these options you can be created here billing amount and all these things you can just click create and just click on create plan okay now our plan is created and you can see the plan id and everything and go to the subscription section and create to new subscription and here also you can choose a plan which means which we are created now just create the select the plan from the select plan section and you can also create a start date you can just optional uh, sorry it's important so just select the immediate subscription data with the first payment total count and everything and click on next if you want you can just add some add-ons click on next and you can add some details for the customer contact section and you can add some mobile number etc and you can add some mobile number etc and you can just notify the customer link expiry and all these options are you can just enable or disable according to your requirements after that just click on create and now our subscription has been created now go to the settings section and you can click on web hooks and you can see this is a web hooks which already created by me so if you don't have you can just click on the create option and you can see that the web hooks there and just click on api keys and you can create a api key for your website you can just regenerate the api key and just if you don't have you can just create that i'm just regenerating it and i'm just in getting that key id and key secret so when you are creating the web hooks so when you are creating the web hooks you can see your web hooks details here you can just copy and paste that web hooks on to the reserve pay dashboard web hooks which we discussed earlier okay guys now we can create a variable subscription product go to the subscription settings and choose the variable subscription click on attributes click on add custom product attribute click on add now you can add a name for that particular variations and just adding quantity you can add one liter two liter three liter whatever you need you want just add that just add all the details used for variations click on save attributes now go to the variation section and just click on create variation from all attribute click on or has been added you can just add the prices that's all prices and all the details which we are done on the previous step which means when we are done on the simple variation at that time we added all the details the same method we are using here you can just add all these details like subscription price and the sale price etc you can add according to your requirements like this for the 2 liter you can add and if you want you can add the particular image for the same product as the same method we are doing on the simple product and variable product the same method we are doing for the simple subscription and variable subscription after that just update and you can see the products okay guys now we finish that and now we can check how we can create the delivery create the delivery and pickup date time for the WooCommerce. Just install this plugin. This is a free plugin. You can search it or search it on the plugin section. Just click on the delivery time and you can see just install and activate the first plugin. The link also I will give in the description box below. You can just get it directly from there on the settings section you can change all these settings according to your requirements on the left hand side also you can see the plugin settings you can change the time zones click on save changes once the changes you can change the order settings you can change the button text like uh, feed label etc 
if you want the pick update etc you can just enable that off days you can enable the off days delivery time you can enable or disable the options according to your requirements so you can change other time text you can add the time slots so when you are starting to deliver all these options you can just add it on this plugin and this is a very good plugin to do the delivery business and it's totally free also this have a premium version also so you can just check it on this plugin settings itself so you can see the difference between the free and the premium plugin okay guys now once you change the all these data you can just click on save changes if you have pickup options on your website you can just enable that also you can change the textures of this plugin you can just change it on here you can change the other settings here you can change the options okay, now go to click on the digit plugins which is for the OTP now you can just install and go to the console.firebase google and you can just create a project there and click on continue and click on continue and select an account click on create project and wait for some time to get uh, for creating that particular project we need some data from the google firebase so we can just enable the otp on our website okay once the, the project is finishing app you will get a dashboard also so you can manage the otp login on that particular dashboard so just click on the continue click on the continue option and this is the dashboard and here choose the web the continue option and this is the dashboard and here choose the web option and register your app you can add any name for this particular app you can add any name just add a name click on register app and click on continue continue to the console and this is your firebase console click on authentication and click on get started now you can see lot of options are available choose the phone option and just enable and click on save now you can add a domain just add your domain without any http anything just add your plain domain as you are seeing in the video and now go to the project settings like this click on project settings and you can just select the config option from here just copy the complete code from here and go to the plugin section and which we install digis plugin just click on that and you can just choose the gateway as firebase and you can just paste that particular config code on the this section and click on save changes and now all other options are optional and general so you can change according to your requirements you can change the otp settings and default country code and everything you can change the form section all these options are optional you can just change according to your requirements you can change the styles otp time and everything click on save changes ok guys now we are completed all our functions of our website and you can also create this website without any programming or technical knowledge thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel